Here we're given a function, x squared minus 3x plus 7, that's a quadratic. And it asks us to find the derivative using the definition. Well, let's first use the power rule. We can easily use the power rule here. 2 times 1 is 2, so we get 2x. And then the, the power here is 1, so 1 times negative 3 is minus 3. And then the derivative of a constant is 0. So the answer should be 2x minus 3. But they did want us to use the definition, so let's write that out. We have the limit, this is the definition, the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay, now this is going to be a quadratic, it's going to be a little bit of work. So the limit as h goes to 0 here. Um, we need to figure out what f of x plus h is function. Wherever there's an x, we're going to substitute x plus h. So f of x plus h will be x plus h squared minus 3 times x plus h. And then we have that plus 7 there. So that's f of x plus h. All right? And then minus f of x. f of x is simply um, the function there, x squared minus 3x plus 7. Now I want to be careful here and put that in parentheses because I will have to distribute this negative one. All, right, all over h. All right, so now what's left is to calculate the limit, which is going to require us to simplify that rational expression. So let's start here when we square this binomial. We'll get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then at this point, I'm going to have to distribute this negative 3. So minus 3x minus 3h plus 7. And then distributing this negative 1, we have minus x squared plus 3x minus 7. And that's still all over h. Okay, so we can see at this point we have some simplification. We have x squared and a minus x squared add to 0. Negative 3x and a positive 3x add to 0. And 7 and a negative 7 adds to 0. All right? And so that leaves us with the limit as h goes to 0 of 2xh plus h squared minus 3h. Those are the terms that are left all over h. goes to 0. So in the numerator here, I see that I do have a GCF, so I can factor that out, leaving me with 2x plus h minus 3. And then we can divide out the h. All right. Now that leaves us with the limit as h goes to 0 of 2x plus h minus 3, which of course now can be we can now evaluate the limit by substituting 0 in for h. When I substitute 0 in for h, all that will be left is 2x minus 3. And that is the derivative that we expected. Okay, I'm here on wolframalpha.com and I wanted to show you how to find the derivative here. So all you do is type in the word derivative and then the function you're working on. So we were working on x squared minus 3x plus 7. And then we'll hit the equal button. And there we go. Um, this is Leibniz notation. It means the derivative of x squared minus 3x plus 7 is 2x minus 3. And it gives you a little picture of the derivative, but there you go. That's how you can verify your answers on wolframalpha.com.